Okay, so we got an Xmark Zero turn here, and customer says it has a loss of power. So what I did was, and I'm not going to demonstrate it because I, I'm always worried I could damage the engine if I do this too much. So I'll just explain what I did. It won't be hard. So what you do is you start the engine. What I want to do is determine if we have a cylinder down. This is a two-cylinder. What you do is you start it up with the spark plugs on on both sides. And then you unplug a spark plug. Well, just one. If it stays running, then you know that the side with the spark plug on is good because it's still running. So this side is running. This side is not because we got a spark plug on. So then you put this spark plug back on and you take this spark plug wire off. And in this case, it died. So that means this cylinder is not producing any power. So there's a couple things here that we got to do. We know we're getting gas because it's running. So it's either the ignition coil or the spark plug or something. We're not getting spark or we have no compression. So we're going to test for that. So I'm going to use a spark plug tester. Now for Shade Tree Mechanic, what you can do is you can take the spark plug out. You can put the spark plug in the boot, hold it to a ground like this nut here and start it. And if you see a spark, then you know that uh, that's that's got spark So what we're gonna see here though on my tester if it's not too bright outside is a it's gonna light up right about here I don't know if you could see that in the camera, but it was there was so we do have spark in this particular case So now what we need to do is determine if we have compression so I'm going to remove the spark plug tester, and we're going to remove the spark plug. Okay, so you can see a lot of carbon on the spark plug, which is another indicator that it's not burning off the fuel. I'm also going to take off the other side. That way, when I test for compression, we will be able to turn it over easily. There won't be any compression against us on this side. See, that spark plug is in much better shape. Okay, so here's the tube that goes into the spark plug hole now somebody's gonna say you can't test it because of compression relief well you can get some compression out of it even if you have a compression relief so now we're gonna put our gauge on it and we're gonna see if we got any compression at all just any even with compression relief you'll get some Maybe, maybe eight pounds, somewhere around there. Okay, somebody. so just to prove this isn't a compression relief issue, I'm gonna take it to the other side and see what we got over there. Now remember, this side is running. We know this side works. So you see this side has a well, 100 pounds right on the nose. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take off the valve cover. This could be a variety of problems. We could have a stuck valve. We could have, uh, well, a bad head. Just a, a variety of issues. So the best thing to do is just take off the valve cover and see what we've got going on.
Now a little oil may come out of this. So what I try to do is catch it. Ah, look at that. So the lifter has come out. The, uh, I'm sorry, the lifter has moved on us. So the push rod isn't pushing on anything. Well, that's a pretty easy fix actually. Okay, so I would say that somebody has been in this, has taken this off, and because this, this bolt was loose. Now, if we look here, I'll try to give you a better angle. You'll see that there's a locking nut right here, but the locking nut on this one is missing. And where did I find it? I found it in, in here. So it has fallen off, that's why this came off. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that the stud that holds these on, this back here, make sure it's tight and it's not turning on us. So then we can put this here, tighten this back up. Now we'll have to adjust the valves. So I'm going to loosen that. Now I'm going to make sure that I got the rod in correctly. Sometimes that's hard to get in there. And uh, so what I'm going to do is turn it and make sure that the valves go in and out. The bottom one just went in, it's coming out. The top one's going in, coming out. So everything's everything's perfect. Okay, so now I'm gonna adjust the valves to make sure they're at the right tolerance, and I'm sure it's not because that's the one that came off. So I'm going to adjust it to four to seven thousandths. So that's 0.004 to 0 0.007 inches. So four goes clearly in and seven does too. So we'll put our four in there and we're going to tighten it until it just drags. So then we're going to put our locking nut on. Actually, I'm going to put a little Loctite there. Bottle. This tube is about out. Should be enough to get there. Yep, we got a little bit in there. A little bit too much, but that's okay. Blue Loctite. That way we can break it loose if we have to adjust the valves again. Okay, so now we're going to hold the back one with a 9 16 And then we're going to tighten the, the front one with a 10 millimeter. Let's see how bad that is. See, I got it way too tight, so we're gonna loosen it up. Okay, so four goes in. Six does not. So I'm going to check the bottom one since we're here. So we'll bring the bottom one up and the top one in. Four, four is a little tight. So we'll do it again. We'll just. Yeah, we got four to go in, six did not. Okay, so we'll put the valve cover back on.
Okay, so let's check the other side. Okay, so the bottom one's out, top one's in. Four goes in, so does seven. So we'll tighten it up a bit. Yeah, that broke it loose. So we'll turn it so the top one's out and bottom one's in. Or it's a bit tight. Okay, so we got four to go in. Okay, so let's check the compression again before we put spark plugs back in. So about the same, about 90 pounds. So that's right.
I was a little shaky with the camera, but you can see that I disconnected it and it was still running. So if I miss that on camera, just know that I took the spark plug wire out and it still ran half power. Now the smoke is because I spilled oil on the muffler. So if you ever think that your V-twin engine has lost power, it's a good bet that one of the cylinders has stopped working. So if you'll click this up next box, it'll take you to a video where I was working on something. So if this video helps you work on your equipment under the shade tree. Thanks for watching.